Donald Trump yesterday issued a sweeping executive order that will lift a moratorium on federal coal leasing and remove the requirement that federal officials consider the impact of climate change when making decisions. That's the big one, right? If you eliminate even the test as to whether or not this regulation increases the problems with climate change or decreases them, uh, then you know what's going to happen. I mean, it's a foregone conclusion. These, uh, some of these measures may take years to implement, uh, but the or and the order is silent on whether or not the United States should withdraw from the 2015 Paris uh, uh, Climate Agreement. But of course, if you revisit the CAFE standards, which uh, apparently Trump's going to do, if you eliminate the uh, the question of climate change impact when determining um, making these assessments, if you uh, raise uh, or get rid of the federal coal leasing. If you get rid of the um, the cold fire power plants rules, the methane leaks rules, then of course, of course, we're not going to be able to even meet those uh, benchmarks sent in in Paris, and those benchmarks weren't even that aggressive. But more than that. It is sending a signal to the rest of the world like, hey, guys, we're not in on this. So if you continue to do it, I mean, there's a reason why people are concerned. And I think what was it today that um, the Brits formally signed the intention for Brexit? Yeah. It was yesterday. Today. today. I can't keep days straight anymore. But one of the big fears, the reason why this destabilizes the EU is that there's a concern that other countries may follow suit. Well, certainly, if you are a developing nation, even if you're China and whatnot, I mean, China, I think, some sense, but if the United States, which is per capita one of the biggest emitters, if not the biggest emitter per capita, is not going to uphold these benchmarks, then why would you? So, yes, somebody, uh, uh, Iams May says, why is the left so dumb? All I can tell you is that if you're feeling good about yourself, it's probably because of something like this. You know, I voted for the candidate who had a Green New Deal, so I, I feel proud of myself about that because you're saying that that's a great way to get out of this. I yeah, there you go. That guy also was mad at Keith Ellison for saying, hey, people who are upset that I lost the election and that Bernie Sanders lost, buck up, keep fighting. And apparently that was very offensive to him. I want to keep fighting when the revolution's supposed to be here already. Fortunately, uh, I think according to this guy, uh, the entire Democratic Party has Parkinson's. Hey, everybody, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad guy, believe me. It's true. It is true, and you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true.